but there's more than one challenge. There's constant, there's physical challenges. Mm -hmm. We wear quite long robes. Yeah, there's an element of, of pressure, but I, I don't really think about the legacy. <laughs> it becomes a very twisty, turny mm -hmm. kind of psychological um, thriller between the, these two characters. I had contact lenses, which made everything very oh God, yeah, unclear. It actually was quite helpful because it made me feel like a god. I remember you saying that. I couldn't, I couldn't see, everything was blurry. Yeah. That one, who knows when that's going to be made. Yeah. I'm so ignorant of Indian cinema, I have to just come clean and say that. Hello everyone, this is Sheetal Shinoi. Welcome to Pink Villa. It's so exciting because I've seen the first two episodes and I love it. I can't oh, wait good. for the world to right. see it. <laughs> right. So I want to start off by asking you that there's finally a face to the most amazing character uh, who has such a big legacy and so much impact, right? So is there like a pressure that you have to continue the legacy because you have to bring the evil onto the screens? Yeah, there's an element of, of pressure, but I, I don't really think about the legacy, to be honest. I kind of just... I mean, I just think about trying to do what we're doing now and that's tell the most exciting story and and we really, I mean, that's the thing, we're so lucky to be able to do this. Yeah. That the pressure kind of fades away or it gets channeled into our excitement around the show and doing what we love to do, which is acting. But also like the material is so good that... Um, it just makes it awesome. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> for you, for your character, I want to ask you, there's so much dilemma that's going on in this season. While he's making the rings, he's being influenced by Anatar. So, how, what is the character arc that's going on from season one to season two? There's a huge shift. Um, and the further we go into season two, mm -hmm. there are many more mini shifts within that. <laughs> it becomes a very twisty, turny mm -hmm. kind of psychological um, thriller between the, these two characters. Um, but he starts out with, with honourable, with mostly honourable intentions. Mm. Um, within, mixed in within that, there is a little bit of ambition and pride and things like that, um, which can muddy his choices. But um, they, they start that the joint venture is intended, apparently, mm -hmm. to be beneficial. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, it's, it's not apparent, it's, it's, well, it's, a, it's a fact. It's a fact. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. very, very going to be great for everyone. Yeah. Particularly you. Yeah, okay. But for both of you, what is that one challenge that you faced uh, during the shooting of season two for your characters? There's more than one challenge. There's constant, there's physical challenges. Mm -hmm. We wear quite long robes. Well, I can only speak for myself. Well, no, we both had robe issues. Yeah. yeah. So Siri, you trip a lot on the robes. Uh, Going downstairs. Tricky. Yeah. Because elves don't look down, you see. Elves just carry straight down. Yeah. You can't They check. physically can't look down. No, they've got something in their necks that stops their head from doing that. <laughs> their eyes can't the look legs. down either. I had contact lenses, which made everything very oh God, yeah, unclear. It actually was quite helpful because it made me feel like a god. I remember you saying that. I couldn't, I couldn't see. Everything was blurry. Yeah. So I was like, maybe this is, I feel kind of otherworldly. But yeah. it meant I tripped over a lot. <laughs> Which isn't but, very Sauron, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. But if I ask you that, uh, what is that, if, apart from your character, if you had to play some other character from the series, which one would that be? It's a good question. Mm, I often say Gil Galad because I like... Because in your casting bracket. <laughs> in your casting bracket. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. Isn't it? <laughs> it kind of is in my casting bracket. Um, yeah, that's my usual answer to that. But while well, Charlie's thinking of one, maybe... Have, yeah. you got, have you got anything in mind? Well, I've got a... I mean, I would, it at all, it's tricky. I wouldn't mind to play some kind of king, but maybe not Gil-Galad. I think, um... You'd like to play an evil king. Evil. Yeah. And are, are there any Which evil... Is essentially what you're playing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but what then evil maybe, kings are there what in about the um, King Durin the Third? Oh, that's a good part. Peter, played by Peter Mullen. Yeah, that's a good oh, part. A good yeah. Part. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I could do it as well as Peter Mullen, though. Okay, you know, uh, we, from the uh, audience, we had a request that they need a quick recap of season one, okay? So I'm going to ask you a few questions from season oh, one nice. uh, and let's see if we get to answer this. Excellent. Yeah? Okay, okay starting off with, you can answer, whoever knows the answer, please go ahead. Bear in mind it was five years ago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, is this, what is the significance of the name Khazad Dom in the Rings of Power? The significance of the name. Yeah. What does well, it mean? The dwarf oh, it's the Dwarven Kingdom. kingdom soon ah, to become Moria. Nice. So, yeah. I think both of you answered it. Okay. Next one. What mysterious symbol keeps appearing throughout the season? Sauron's sigil. Mm, 
the trident yeah pitchfork yeah. basically pitchfork nice. thanks <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, what ancient language is used to inscribe the rings elven elvish yeah yeah you yeah. sure yeah that's what i was thinking <laughs> oh wait yeah. no hang on it depends which ring the first one oh yeah oh you you mean the the, inscribed inside the, the one the ring, ring the one yeah which we have yet to make mm. Oh well, that's black. That's black. Yes, yeah, black speech. Yeah, that's what I asked you. <laughs> but that one, who knows when that's going to be made? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you a few dialogues. Let's see if you know who said this. Okay? okay. Cleverness is for men of small ambition. Who said this? This is quotes from our show, or just yeah, yeah. Lord of the Rings? No, yeah. Cleverness is for men with of small ambition. It sounds Numenorean. It sounds like Farazon or something. That's and a good you answer. Are right. well Am I right? You yeah. are right. Well done. <laughs> Just gonna feel his okay. character. Another dialogue. Uh, if we didn't do everything we weren't supposed to, we'd hardly do anything at all. Oh, uh, Nori. Perfect. Okay, last two to go. Where was the rings forged by Sauron? Which location? The 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 one. The ring. one ring. Yeah, the one ring. M Mordor. Mount, Mount Doom. Doom. Mount Doom. The fires yes. of Mount yeah, Doom. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. You guys are amazing. We're very... Woohoo! Very, very <laughs> I just have one last question to you. A uh, lot of love from India. Uh, people love you there and they can't wait to see the next season. But uh, is there like a nice massive Indian film that you guys have seen and have loved? At I'm so ignorant of Indian cinema. I have to just come clean and say that. Okay. I can't pretend to answer your question. No problem. Yeah. That's okay. But maybe you should watch some Indian movie and... Of course, yes, yeah? definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the more any recommendations you can give us, we would love it. I, I'll send you the recommendation. Please Don't do. Worry. <laughs> yeah. But it's such a nice conversation with you. Uh, can't wait to watch the next season and season three if there's any spoilers. Yeah. Thank you so much. Any spoilers thank you. to share? No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much. Appreciate it.